Hey guys, welcome back again. I know now you have understood about the backlinks. What are the backlinks and what are the backlink types? So when it comes to backlink types guys, then you have understood two most important part. One is a do follow backlink and second one is a no follow backlink. But guys, there is a major difference in between both of them and when exactly you have to provide this kind of backlink to someone else that's what you and i will i'm going to explain here in this video other than that guys the no follow backlinks criteria and the understanding of the google with no follow backlinks has been completely changed so i decided to make this video to explain you everything about no follow backlinks hey guys my name is kirti shuyas and i welcome you again to this channel and i'm from bloggingverse.com so guys without wasting time if you're new to this channel make sure you hit subscribe like and share as much as possible and stay till the end because this is something which is new and you have to understand if you wanted to learn about search engine optimization so let's get started so guys let's talk about the difference simple difference in between do follow and no follow backlink when it comes to do follow backlinks then what happen is Whenever the search engine crawler will visit your website and that will found the anchor text. Anchor text is a kind of a blue color text which is linked with external site, right? This is what you can see here. So whenever the crawler will found such kind of anchor text, it will try to pass through that anchor text and will go to that link website. And now it will pass an authority to that website from your website. So that means if you have provided any link as do follow, that means you are passing your authority, your link juice, your credit to the other website and that website will get advantage and get ranked. That was a do follow and I hope you understood. Earlier philosophy with the no follow backlink has been changed now. No follow tag was introduced back in the year uh, 2005. It's been more than 20 years but back in 2019 September Google has changed the complete concept of no follow. Earlier, the no follow meaning was if you have provided any anchor text which was linked to external site, but if that anchor text is a no follow, then Google crawler were not visiting that particular site and were not passing any authority. So ultimately, the linked website were not getting any sort of authority and no search engine ranking. But now guys, this has been changed. What Google has changed, that you can see, this is the official article been released on September 2019. I will also provide the link in the description. And they are telling no follow is now evolving. So now what they have done. First of all, guys, how exactly you have to identify no follow, then make sure you read this particular article. The link will be in the description that explain everything about no follow. Or in simple meaning, if you have to find out whether this link is a no follow or not, just open its HTML source code and then just search REL equals to no follow. If you will find this kind of tag, so the whatever the link attached with that anchor tags is considered as a no follow. But earlier there was a clear instruction. If you have provided REL equals to no follow, Google was not about to check anything of that word, particular website. But guys, now the no follow is been evolving. Now the no follow itself, Google has classified into three different types of tag. So one is REL equals to no follow. Second one is REL equals to UGC. And third one is REL equals to sponsored. So the important part is when to use and what to use for what purpose. So guys, if REL equals to no follow, then the simple thing is if you have linked some site, you don't want to pass an authority, but that is a legit content site, then you can mark that particular external link as a REL equals to no follow. But imagine if you have linked a particular anchor text to an external, uh, any product website, or you have done any advertisement or kind of that, then whatever the pages you are linking with your site, in that case, your anchor text must have REL equals to sponsored. And the third one is REL equals to UGC. Let imagine if people are started commenting on your blog or your forum website. By default, earlier you were marking each and every link as REL equals to no follow, but now you can mark them as an REL equals to UGC. Now, the interesting change which Google has done is there is no such difference in between REL equals to no follow. REL equals to UGC and REL equals to sponsor. Google will consider all the three as a common page to understand the meaning of that particular link. So if you don't want to use any others, then you can even use REL equals to no follow. That's not an issue. That's the first change. Uh, now the second change is guys, REL equals to no follow will be work as a hint for the Google crawler. It's not going to be a strict order for the search engine crawler not to visit. Now it will be the discretion of the Google. Either they can pass an authority or they will not. So in that case, they will take this REL equals to no follow as a hint. And now Google will decide whether they have to pass the authority to that website or not. And they will judge whether they have to rank the pages or not. So that was the small change. 
do follow strictly they will pass the authority and no follow will be the discretion of the google to pass the authority or not so i hope guys now you got this important update on what is do follow and no follow and whether you have to create no follow or not and that is why i'm always recommending you always have to create both type of backlinks in order to get search engine ranking let's take an example if you are taking backlinks from the wikipedia which is obviously a no follow backlinks but according to this latest update or i should say the uh, the recent update from the google you will even get some sort of an authority no matter you are getting that as a no follow or a do follow so keep making backlinks which is again an important part and i hope guys this video has helped you to understand what exactly the do follow and no follow and what type of backlinks you have to create ultimately you have to create both type of backlink from the genuine resources but make sure the kind of backlinks which you are creating should be with your related niche website and that's what i have explained within the post as well as in the i button backlink video if you like this content guys then make sure you subscribe it like this video and provide your valuable comment in the comment box hope to see you in the next video thank you very much for watching this one